Coming up, an unbelievable phenomenon, the pandemic causing plastic surgery boom with people staying at home, leaving many bemoaning their webcam appearances. Plastic surgeons have seen a rebound in demand for procedures. We're going to talk about that with a local surgeon. That's coming up next. Coronavirus pandemic has caused a boom for plastic surgeons. Doctors say it's the ideal time with so many people working from home and not socializing. Dr. Monique Maya, a board certified plastic surgeon with offices in Tyson's Corner Center, and Chevy Chase joins us uh, with the most frequent concerns that she's hearing now from patients. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, you know, you know we, we all know we've been doing our Zooms. We're looking at ourselves, the mask on, saying, mm, maybe if my eye were pulled just a little tighter, my chin a little higher. Uh, what are some of the main uh, concerns patients are coming in with? Yeah, you, you you'll talk about mainly what people are talking about, the upper uh, third of the face, mm -hmm. the jawline, people are noticing that on Zoom calls especially the neck, laxity, mm -hmm. and so the patients are coming to address these areas. And so you have you have someone on standby here because I want to make sure whatever you, what you want to show us, we get that in. Uh, so what are you showing us this morning? Is it just a matter of people making the appointment coming in or is some, are there some prerequisites you ask that people meet before, uh, you know, they, they decide to have plastic surgery? So they have to be healthy, mm -hmm. in good condition to have these procedures, and then there's a full assessment. Usually there's a consultation to mm -hmm. see if they're good candidates for procedures in the office and also surgical procedures. Okay. So uh, there are options that we can do here to improve the areas like the upper third of the face. Mm -hmm. You know, this area is now in evidence because everybody's wearing masks. So we do nail modulators to improve the lines on the forehead, mm -hmm. do a little bit of a brow lift, Okay. And also there's procedures, surgical procedures that you can do in the office on the local anesthesia, like an eyelid lift. Okay. What are you showing us with the, the person that you're with? So today I'm showing uh, different uses of neuromodulators like Botox. Okay. People usually don't know much about it, but mm. you can use uh, Botox for teeth grinding, also teeth migraine grinding. Okay. treatment. So we'll do the treatment so people can see how easy it is to go through this treatment is very minimal discomfort. Okay. So I cleaned the area already, okay. and then um, I'm gonna ask her to clench. I use this little vibrating device, but okay. it's not a lot of pain. So what I do, you can hold it with this. All She's right. She's gonna clench, and then it's just a little pinch. And yes. what you're doing is it will help with her teeth grinding. Is that what you said? That's right. So she doesn't have to use the mouth cord. You know, go to the other side. Okay. And it seems fairly easy and, and, and quick. How, is it painful? Is she numbed in any way? No, she's not numb. The little vibrating device will distract her nerves. Okay. And that's it. And that's, it's that easy? Okay. That easy. And it works very quickly and it mm -hmm. lasts for three to four months. My goodness. So you talked about the Botox uh, that people are coming in for. Is that a painful thing as well? Do you need any sort of anesthesia for that? Usually not. Okay. People, you know, tolerate this procedures very well. Mm -hmm. It's just a, like a little pinch. Uh, right. Very quick, I just use Botox on her master the muscle for teeth grinding. And for wrinkles, uh, right. a relaxer we use on the forehead. Also, we can lift the eyebrow as well. And I know a lot of people think plastic surgery is about vanity. It's not. Whatever makes you look good and helps you perform better, that is what it's all about. Uh, doctor, where can people find more from you and get to you? So people can go to my website, uh, myoplasticsurgery.com, or okay. Instagram, uh, Monique Maya, Dr. Monique Maya. Got so it. they can see before and afters, and also, you know, areas of concerns, right. upper uh, face, neck, lines, and, and jaw lines. Well, listen, when you look good, you feel good. And we thank you for that. Dr. Maya, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. My pleasure.